We continue to celebrate Black History Month with a story linking the past to the present at Loyola University. Marshall Harris joins us with one student athlete helping educate others about a season to remember for the Ramblers. Whitney Young alum Lucas Williamson was a key freshman reserve when Loyola's basketball team made that magical run to the 2018 Final Four. Since then, the now grad student and captain has found his voice both on and off the court. So when you first get here, uh, I, you just learn about the 63 team through osmosis. 55 years before Lucas Williamson played on a Loyola Final Four team, the Ramblers won the national championship playing in the midst of the civil rights movement. The Ramblers had four black starters and beat a Mississippi State team that previously was not allowed to play against black players in the famed game of change. Now getting to know the story a little bit more intimately, like you learn like smaller details. Um, you learn stories about like, oh, when they had to go travel down south, when they had to play Houston, when they had to go play in hostile crowds. The little details like that that make you like have a different type of perspective and a different like approach and in, in, in emotion toward uh, the final outcome. It's all explored in a new documentary from director Patrick Creedon, two and a half years in the making. The Loyola Project, a documentary film narrated by me, Lucas Williamson. He's like, it just feels a little bit better when the narrator of the film has a lot to do with the story itself. So he was like, hey, do you want to give the narration thing a go? And I was like, you know, sure. Creed not only stuck with Lucas to voice the film, he had Lucas help write it. In his fight to preserve segregation in the early 1960s, Governor Barnett made a special target out of state sports. This story is a story that should be told. For example, myself, I grew up in Chicago. Uh, there's no reason why a young black kid growing up in Chicago shouldn't know that these, the 63 team was a, was a trailblazing team that I benef benefit directly from. I mean, they broke the unwritten, unwritten rule that you can only play a certain amount of black players at a certain amount of time. When COVID hit, production of the documentary didn't stop, but instead of narrating in a studio, Lucas had to move his voice work to a more intimate location, his closet. I had never done something like this before. It's crazy to me that any coach would choose to separate their team anywhere for any reason. The journalism graduate has given this story a voice well beyond his campus, now Williamson wants the film to serve as a vehicle for further change. My hope is that people don't watch this and say, oh, that was a good story, and then turn it off and then just continue about their day. We should be having these tougher, harder conversations to grow as a society, and I hope that since this is a sports story, um, it's a little easier to start to ease into those other types of conversations. You can watch The Loyola Project as it debuts tonight at 8 p.m. on CBS Sports Network. The film will also screen at 63 different campuses across the country, including Loyola's campus on Friday. A private screening Thursday will feature a panel after the film led by CBS Sports' Clark Kellogg and include the director, Patrick Creedon, and, of course, Lucas. That's great. Lucas comes from a very um, prominent and uh, accomplished family. His father was a longtime photojournalist in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Certainly seems like he's carrying on the legacy. That's right. That's for sure. Thank you, Marshall.